Hi, welcome to my channel, 369 Tarot. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I'm going to do a reading for you guys today. So this reading is going to be a third-party reading between Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the Karmic Partner. Okay, so please keep in mind this is a general reading. While it is a general reading, I do have a tendency to get pretty detailed, so just use that information um, along with your own intuition to help to guide you through the messages. Information for private and personal readings are down below each video, along with information on how to order a personal reading, um, how to make payments and tips and all that good stuff. Um, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can leave me a like, share, subscribe, and a comment down below as well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off here by pulling the mutual energy between the feminine and the masculine. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the mutual energy between the feminine and the masculine in this reading? We're going to get two. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the mutual energy between the feminine and the masculine in this reading. All right, so we got two cards here. The first card that came out was deceit. This person lied before and they will again. Okay, and it came out in reverse. And then we have manifesting. I am manifesting loving and meaningful relationships. And it came out in reverse as well. Okay. So I feel like between this feminine and this masculine, I feel like this feminine is questioning the relationship. Sorry, my heater. Is making really funny noises. There we go. <laughs> so there's a feminine here who's questioning the relationship. Okay. This masculine has lied to this feminine before. They've lied to them in the past. Okay. Um, this feminine is questioning if she could trust this masculine. Um, I feel like feminine... You have had bad relationships in the past besides this masculine. Um, for some reason, it feels like for you, you've been trying to manifest something meaningful. You've been trying to manifest the truth, not lies, the truth. You want to know what the truth is about this connection. Because you've caught your person lying before is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so you want something more meaningful. You want to know that you... Um, can trust your person. You can trust what they're saying, that what they're really saying is coming from their heart, okay? And um, you're questioning if this relationship at this point can even be meaningful, if it can even be loving, if there's always going to be lies involved. Let's get a card to clarify this energy. Spirit, tell me more about the masculine and feminine mutual energy in this reading. Yeah, look at that mask. There's times when you question if you even know your person. Um, there's times when you question how honest they've really been with you. Because you know they haven't been 100% honest. It's something that you've always felt. You've always felt it, that pool, um, right in your solar plexus, in your stomach, in your gut. You felt that pool. You felt that pool saying that your person hasn't been honest with you. You may have even caught them in lies in the past. Okay, and, and we'll look further into that as we go along. But you have. You've caught them in lies. I think that you've even tried to do handle work. Um, lighting a candle for your person, asking spirit to please let the mask come off. Let them reveal the truth. Let you see the truth. Okay. 
but time after time this person has lied time after time this person has wore a mask time after time they've kept things from you they've hid things from you it doesn't feel very loving it doesn't feel very meaningful at this point when it's not genuine so you're questioning how genuine it really is you're questioning if you even know your person or if everything right down to who they even are is a lie That's what's on your mind, feminine. And um, this masculine, they are wearing a mask. They have been lying. They have lied over and over again. This masculine might have even went through their whole life lying with never revealing to anyone who they truly are. This masculine doesn't truly know what a meaningful or a loving relationship truly is. This is a masculine that might even make promises and break them because it feels like nothing to them to break a promise because every promise that they've ever been promised has been broken in the past, in their childhood, in every relationship, every promise that anyone has made to this masculine has been broken. I can tell you that. Um, there's been very few promises that's ever been kept. So it's nothing for this masculine to break a promise. They're used to break broken promises. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me, show me this feminine energy. Show me this feminine's energy towards this masculine. And spirit, please reveal to me um, this masculine's energy towards this feminine. So for the feminine energy here, we have this beautiful, stunning queen of wands. Okay. Um, feminine, I'm getting a real earth angel type of vibe from you. Um, I feel like you have very, like a very angelic energy about you. Um, you may have even been placed here as an earth angel. And as an earth angel, I think that you might encounter things like what your masculine is going through. You might encounter that a lot. Um, you might encounter people who are lost. You might encounter people who have gone through their life um, not revealing who they truly are. You might encounter people who feel completely broken. Um, you might encounter people who feel hopeless. And you're meant to en encounter those people, right? As an earth angel. So you're meant to bring light into the life of those people. It doesn't mean to let people use you or to put yourself in bad situations, right? But it's just, you're meant to show compassion. There's people in this world that have never even felt true compassion is what I'm seeing here. But feminine, you have a very compassionate energy. Very, very fiery is what I'm picking up as well. So you could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm seeing red roses um, or red flowers. It may not even be roses, but I'm seeing red flowers. And I'm seeing a lot of white. I think that you like the color white. Um, you might like white clothes, white furniture. You just like the color of white, how clean it looks, how fresh it looks. Um, I think you love the winter. You love it when it snows. You love seeing the snow on the ground, how beautiful it looks, um, the way it glistens when the light hits it. I think that you also love gold. Um, you like gold jewelry or wear gold jewelry. Um, I think you're also very physically attractive with the queen of wands. So the queen of wands, when she walks into a room, you know, she is noticed, right? Not because she asked to be noticed, but because her energy demands to be noticed. Okay. So when you walk into a room feminine, I feel like you're just stunning. I feel like 
you really turn heads everywhere you go. Um, is one of the things I'm picking up. And also with the Queen of Wands, I think you have a very um, innate magical abilities. You have some manifesting abilities. You are very creative. I think that you could be um, also very into art, uh, expressing yourself through very creative means. So whatever those means may be. So I'm just seeing a very beautiful, stunning, um, feminine energy, very strong, very spiritual. The Queen of Wands is the most spiritual queen in the deck. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up from you. And a very earth angel type of vibe. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about this feminine's energy towards her masculine. Okay, so we got under pressure here. I'm under a lot of pressure. Please be understanding. Okay, so this relationship is putting a lot of weight on your shoulders, feminine. It really is. You feel like um, you're under a lot of pressure in this relationship. You might even have like racing thoughts, racing emotions. You might even feel a tinge of frustration a lot of times is what I'm getting here. in this relationship because one thing feminine about you one thing about you is you really hate being lied to you can't stand being lied to and um you know your person's been lying to you and we'll look more into that but it's very hard for you to understand why they're doing this you want to understand them because you're so compassionate because you so are so um, kind of empathetic, but it's very hard for you to understand why they continue to lie. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about this feminine's energy towards her masculine. So feminine, you're the queen of wands, which is the flame, and then we got the twin flame. So this is your twin flame. You know it. You felt it in your heart. I feel like as soon as you met this person, you felt your heart skip a few beats. It's as if your heart wanted to jump out of your chest and merge with theirs. That's how close you felt with them. So you feel like you know their soul. You know their spirit. Um, and you know that that's genuine. That the feeling that you feel is genuine. That the rush of emotions... Um, and the pull that you feel towards them is absolutely genuine and it's spiritual. It is very deep. Okay, but um, it puts you under a lot of pressure because you're like, is this real? Is this person just going to lie forever? Right? You want to know what's the truth, what's lies? Because, again, I think you want something meaningful. And feminine, I think that um, you don't want to be a second option. You don't want to be the other person. You are the one and only. You are the twin flame. The spiritual connection, right? And I think that whenever you're around this person, whenever you think of this person, you feel a little squeeze, a little pressure in your heart is what I'm picking up. And, you know, it's like your heart just wanting to, again, it's like your heart wants to jump out of your chest and merge with their heart. Um, eloping in twin flame love and spiritual love, being together in pureness and wholeness. And that's what you want. And I think that it's a pet peeve of yours for people to lie. You are a very understanding and compassionate person. So you're like, why would they lie to me? Right? So you don't understand it. For your masculine, wake up a knight of pentacles here. Okay? So this masculine is an earth sign. All right? Probably Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, and I would say they are very stubborn. 
They are very, very stubborn. This is the type of person that if you ask them to do something or if you ask them to hurry up or something, they purposely take a lot longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, they look like this knight in shining armor. Their energy is telling you that's who they are. But they're riding this dark horse, this, you know, horse that symbolizes darkness. And the red and green are reminding me of the roses in your card, feminine. So this masculine has a lot of darkness that they're hiding. They see a part of them as dark. They see a part of them as not worthy. Um, they see a part of themselves as not wanting to bring it out into light, not wanting to expose it to you. I also feel like this is somebody who procrastinates a lot. I think that when they set out to do something, they take forever <laughs> to get it done. I'm not trying to put down this masculine, I'm just saying. Um, but they can be very dependable when they do decide to come out of that shell. So they have a major shell around them, um, but they can be very dependable. They can be very reliable and loyal should they choose to ever come out of that shell fully. And I feel like this is a masculine who's been wearing this shell, this suit of armor for most of their life. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about this masculine's energy towards this feminine okay so we got rejection here your rejection has been a catalyst for change and it came out in reverse okay so again there's a lot of things this masculine's hiding there's a lot of things that they see as dark within themselves as not acceptable as not meaningful, as not loving. So they put on a mask, they put on that armor every single day to whoever they come across, whoever they encounter. And we're gonna get down to the truth of who they really are in this reading. But they're afraid of rejection. This is a masculine who has felt rejected in their life. This is a masculine who time and time again felt put down, felt rejected for who they truly are. So they started seeing themselves as dark. They started seeing themselves as not worthy. And they started hiding those things that they, it's like they would come out and show who they really are. They would show something they would be proud of as a child or something like that. And, it, you know, someone would laugh at it or they would get made fun of or they would always be told, well, you could do better or I could do better or something like that. You know, it could be a family member, could have been like an older brother or something, but it's like it filled their self, their core with rejection, with a sense of rejection, with a sense of not being good enough. So this masculine never really developed their true self because of that, because they've been hiding it, pushing it away, even at times making things up and lying about who they really are, what they really like, um, just conforming to whatever they see um, or feel might be acceptable. What others have told them is acceptable. And because of how strongly they feel towards you, feminine, they are so afraid of the rejection towards you. So they act like they don't care. They do. They act like they don't care. They're, they don't speak a lot. They're afraid that they might reveal some of that darkness. Spirit, tell me more about this masculine's energy towards this feminine. Okay, we got family. So yeah, this is stemming back from childhood, from the way their family treated them. This masculine was kind of always put down. I feel like by, I feel like they had a sibling, an older sibling that put them down. No matter what they did, this sibling was like the best at it. And, you know, I feel like the family really kind of coddled to this older 
Um, I feel like it's a brother, okay? But just take it as it resonates. Um, they really like coddled to them. Always made a point to show them off, tell everyone how great they are, um, how proud they are of them. And then they were putting this masculine down, saying he wasn't good enough. Um, he wasn't strong enough. And so this masculine, I feel, started hiding parts of himself, parts of him, his true self, to be more like this older brother, to be more like what his family wanted him to be or what he felt they wanted him to be. And that's what's going on with this masculine. And he's created even more conflict than he could have even imagined by just doing that. Because now he's come across his twin flame. And he's lied. He didn't lie because he wanted to hurt you. He didn't lie because um, he felt like you didn't deserve to know the truth. He lied because he thought you would reject him. He lied because he wanted to make himself look better or sound better in your eyes, feminine. He lied because he couldn't imagine that someone like you would turn a second look at someone like him. So he did lie. He lied about who he was. He lied about a situation. He lied about a lot of things. Spirit, please reveal to me this feminine's thoughts towards her masculine. Spirit, please reveal to me this feminine's emotions towards her masculine. Spirit, please reveal to me the actions this feminine would like to take towards this masculine. Okay, feminine. So in your thoughts, we have the Ace of Wands. All right. So you want to know who they truly are. And again, you're the Queen of Wands. Okay. Um, so you just want to know who they truly are. All right. Um, you want to be seen for who you truly are. And you want to see them for who they truly are. With the Ace of Wands, you want a new beginning. You want passion. You want it to be true when you hear it. You want that passion to be true when you feel it, right? You don't want it to be false. You don't want it to be based on a lie. And when you feel that passion um, coming up in your spirit, you also want to know that that passion, that emotion that you feel for your person is for your person, really who they are, not a mask, not a mannequin, not a lie but really them. That's what you want. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about the thoughts this feminine has towards this masculine. So we got children. Children are important to me and it's affecting our connection. All right. And with the Ace of Wands. So feminine, you could have a child um, is one of the things I'm picking up. And you might be worried about how this relationship is affecting the relationship with your child. You might even have a child with your divine masculine. Okay. You might have a family with this person. All right. So you want to make it work with your person. And if not, if there's no children involved, I think that's something that you kind of think about. I feel like feminine, you might have a sister that has a child or you see other people, friends or something that have children and it's something that you want and it's something that you've thought about and you don't want to waste time, especially with someone who's going to be lying, wearing a mask. For the emotions, we got the nine of swords. Um, 
So it hurts you that your person has lied. It really hurts you. Um, I think that you've even had nightmares about the situation. Um, is what I'm seeing here. Because people have lied to you in the past. And I think you've had very bad relationships in the past as well that didn't feel meaningful, that didn't feel loving, that you have left and you learned how to become independent. You learned how to create this new beginning. And I think that this situation is bringing back bad memories. I think that it's bringing back even bad nightmares. Might even feel like there's something with you to where you attract this type of relationship but um, that's not true, okay? You attracted this person because they're your twin flame and it was meant for this person to come into your life, okay? So we do have the nine of swords. You're starting to come out of that energy. You're starting to feel a little better, all right? Spirit, tell me more about the emotions this feminine is feeling towards her masculine. And we have Aries here and then we also have Aquarius. Okay, we got karmic love in reverse. So you've been through karmic relationships in the past. You could have a child with a karmic. It'd be a little Aries baby, okay? But you could have a child with a karmic. And I feel like that relationship was painful. Um, I feel like during the time you were in that relationship and you might again, have a child with them. I'm, I'm seeing the red flowers. You know, I think that you were depressed. I think that it was dark. It was a very dark time in your life. I think that um, you still even have nightmares about that time in your life. And, and that's why I'm saying this person is bringing up bad memories. Because in your past, I feel like this karmic mistreated you. And it was very painful to hold on to that relationship. And I think that you were in it, in this karmic relationship for quite a while, okay? And um, it was so painful to even let go, but you had to. And you finally did. And I think that it was hard, but now you're independent and you've gained your independence, right? But what I'm seeing here is that um, you're afraid. You're afraid of being in the same situation as you put yourself in in the past. You question if you just attract that type of pe person to you, um, like this karmic, all right? Um, again, I think this karmic brought you through a dark night of the soul. I think that, um, you know, you've had this kind of rebirth uh, since you've been with them. And you really do not want to go back into that same cycle, that is like a fear that you have, that someone will deceive you, someone will lie to you, and then after a commitment, after you guys are together, they'll show their true face, they'll show um, who they really are, and that's not a nice person, and I think that's exactly what's happened in the past, and I think that you have a child with this person, this karmic um, that now it's very painful to even work things out with them, but you are depend independent. You have your independence. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. And I'm just seeing it was a very cold and dark time. Um, I feel like this karmic, if you have a child with them, they mistreated you while you were pregnant. That's one of the things I'm seeing. They didn't protect you. They mistreated you. Um, I feel like while you were with this karmic, you had panic attacks. Um, I, I feel like your health was declining. And that could be one of the reasons why you finally decided to up and leave. Okay. Because your health even started declining being with this person. So now you not only have to look out for yourself, your own heart, um, but also this child too, because you don't want to put them in the same situation as they were in the past. Okay, so the world, you don't want to go back into that cycle. So feminine, I just hear you saying like, what's wrong with me? Why do I keep attracting these type of people. That's what you keep saying to yourself. 
um, spirit, please reveal to me. Tell me more about the actions this feminine feel, wants to take towards her masculine. Fatal event. Okay. So this says, I'm sorry for what I've done. So I feel like, yeah, this is just talking about your past. This is talking about the karmic relationship that you were in. Um, and I feel like there's a whole lot you regret about the relationship, but never, ever regret um, a child coming out of it. I think it's just rough for you um, raising a child with the karmic, if they even have any, if you even have any help in that. But with fatal event, this is, there's absolutely no way I'm ever walking back into that. Okay, with these two cards here. All right. Um, but yeah, also feminine, I feel like for you, you're basically at the point to where you're like one more lie. I'll give them one more chance. If they cannot be themselves, if they cannot um, come clean, tell me the truth about our relationship, about their situation. I'm done. There is no more going back. And I feel like that's really where you're at at this point. Spirit, please reveal to me um, what message do you have for this feminine about her energy? Okay. So twin flamish energy here, and this is talking about passion and a very powerful connection, okay? And it says, you instinctively know, feminine, what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So if you feel like you need to walk away from this, then it's probably meant to be that you would walk away from this. Maybe your person is meant to know you and lose you to be able to come around. And I don't mean lose you forever, but I do mean maybe they are meant to experience life without you for a small period of time so that they know what they could lose. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me the thoughts this masculine has towards this divine feminine. We have judgment in reverse. Okay. So this person has very bad judgment. I have to say, they don't know how to judge such situations. They don't know how to judge themselves. They don't know how to, like, I feel like they look at themselves and they're like, no, no, they're not going to like me. I need to change everything about myself. I need to lie. I need to make things up. I need to make myself sound better. Right? That's how they're feeling. So they have very bad judgment and they pick that up again from their family, from the way they were treated as a child. Um, they really felt very rejected from their family um, their whole life. They felt rejected. And I feel like they're someone who's really kind of reclusive because of that. So they don't open up easily at all. Spirit, tell me more about the thoughts this masculine has towards um, this feminine, they also feel like you are going to judge them. They always think that everyone is going to judge them the same way that everyone always has, the same way that their family has. They're going to get rejected. They're going to get judged. Okay. They feel like the entire world judges them and they feel like you're going to judge them as well. That, you know, if they reveal their true self, that you'll no longer be you know, this person who, who gives them a chance, who gives them the time of day, you will be in the same category as like the rest of the world, you know, judging him, thinking he's not good enough, feeling rejected, because this is a masculine who feels rejected by the world. As a child, his family is the world. So he was literally being rejected by the world when his family rejected him as a child. So he's developed this um, this thing where he feels like he needs to lie. He needs to cover up who he really is. He needs to be better than what he really is. He needs, or he's going to be rejected. He, basically, he feels he needs to be someone else. Spirit, please. And feminine, I feel like you kind of know what that feels like as well. Um, so I think there is some mirroring here, but I think that, um, you know, you've already been through this. You've been through this with a karmic relationship. You know how that feels. 
If only they could open up to you about it. So yeah, they're detached because they're afraid you're going to ju judge them. They're emotionally closed off so they don't feel the past wounds of being rejected, of being judged by the entire world, even by their own family. Okay, and we got here's a small token of my love. So they do want to offer you something. They do want to show you that they care. That's been on their mind. How can I offer just a small token of love to my feminine? How can I let my feminine know that I really do care, but only in a detached and closed off way? That's how they're thinking here. Because this masculine, every time they've opened up their heart, been happy, been proud over something, um, they've been shut down. They've been rejected in their life, in their family. So they feel like in order to show you who they truly are, they would be coming to you, feminine, and saying, Hi, feminine. Um, here's this cracked and broken heart that I have. And, you know, it's been rejected a million times and it's been stomped on and broken. But, you know, there's a little bit of duct tape on there. And um, would you like it? That's how they feel. What if I wrap it up in a nice pretty box? What if I put a beautiful red bow on it? Then would you accept it? Then you can't see how broken it is, right? Then you can't see how hurt it really is if I wrap it up in things that aren't really me and put a big, pretty bow on it. You'll never know what's inside. That's the way he's looking at his, you know, um, his lies, his mask. That's the way he's looking at it. Spirit, please reveal to me. Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions this masculine truly feels towards this feminine. Okay, we got two nines here. Nine of swords, dark knight of the soul. Feminine, look what I tell you. What you went through in the past and your karmic relationship, this masculine is going through now. Okay, they are having anxiety. They can't sleep. This person has nightmares about their childhood. They might have even been bullied as a child. Um, and they literally have like a repeating nightmare of a specific time as a child when they were like in front of a group of people and they were all laughing at them. They were making fun of them and they literally have nightmares. They have panic attacks. Um, they cannot sleep even to this day. All right. And they're so ashamed of the fact that they even went through this. They're so ashamed to be that person. They're like, I don't want to be that person that was bullied. I don't want to be that person that everyone made fun of that everyone for the rest of their life remembers as this, right? I don't want to be that, you know, and this is, I'm channeling their energy here. You guys, um, this is me channeling them. But they're like, I don't want to be pathetic. I don't want to be pathetic. So I'm going to put my true feelings, my true heart in this box. And I'm going to stuff it in there, no matter how broken it is. And I'm going to wrap it up in a nice um, box and with a big pretty bow. And I'm going to um, be whatever the world wants me to be. Then I won't have to feel these wounds. Then I won't ever get triggered. Then I'll never feel rejected again. Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions that this masculine has towards this feminine. And you know, nine and nine, that's 18. That's the moon. Okay, very dark night of the soul energy. Um, Yeah, and the nine of wands. Look at that. This masculine can't sleep so much that when they go to work, they literally might fall asleep at work. Things like that. Um, because they're not sleeping. They're just not. This is a masculine who's tortured in their emotions, in their life. 
Spirit, tell me more about the emotions this masculine has towards this feminine. And you know what I just heard? I try to forget it. I try to forget all of it. I try to move on. But as soon as I forget, it comes back up in my heart. It comes back up in my mind. Something triggers a memory. Something triggers um, a panic attack. And, and then we go right back into the memory. Right back into those emotions, those feelings. And this masculine is going to keep feeling them very intensely until he decides to become his true self. The hermit. Spiritual truth and awakening. Okay. Seeing the truth of your heart, masculine. Um, not stuffing the heart in a box, but letting it come out. Looking at all the cracks and crevices. Um, you know, touching them, smoothing them over. Right? Caressing those cracks and crevices until it can finally heal. Releasing those emotions. Finding the ones that are deep hidden in there. The ones that not even you want to look at. And looking at them. And finding the truth. And you know what the truth is, masculine? None of that was your fault. If someone can't accept who you are, that's their problem. It's not yours. It's not yours at all. And it never has been. And those people who did that to you, they are the ones who should feel guilty. They are the ones who should have a cracked heart. But instead, you're carrying the pain around instead. You're the one carrying the guilt for what they did. And I'm asking you right now, masculine, to let it go. To forgive. Finally forgive. Not for them, but for yourself. I also am picking up there was a time when even a teacher, like in school, when this masculine, one of their teachers humiliated them um, in front of everyone. Um, and, you know, this masculine went home that night and he cried. He went straight to his room. He went to his bed and he cried and he cried and he didn't even tell a single soul about what happened that day because he couldn't handle any more people laughing at him. That's what I'm picking up here. He couldn't handle any more people rejecting him, rejecting his soul, rejecting his heart, rejecting him as a being. Spirit, tell me more about the emotions this masculine feels towards his feminine. Yeah, he feels like you're going to reject him. That you couldn't possibly want him. That there's no way you would accept this cracked and broken heart that it's best for you feminine if you would just move on from him and that's what he tells himself he's really in a state of self-pity and he's telling himself that um, because it's easier it's easier to do that than to actually take out that lantern and look deep within yourself it's easier to just shove the world away than to decide you know what I'm going to find out who I really am. I'm going to be myself no matter what anyone tells me. So he tells himself in his heart that you'll reject him. And so he lies. And he locks his heart up in a box. Spirit, please reveal to me what are the actions this masculine would like to take towards this feminine. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So they do want a new beginning with you. Um, they want an opportunity, okay, to talk to you, right? Um, but they're taking a very long time to open up about who they really are their true heart, their true soul, you know, and, and I feel like this masculine is a very kind, very um, sweet like person, but nobody ever gets to see that because they lock it inside. So they want to do the right thing, feminine. Um, they don't want to be so closed off. They want to open that gate around their heart. 
okay they really truly do so they're coming up with ideas how can they do this right um but i feel like every time they start thinking about it they start brainstorming it's like they start coming up with lies because that's what they're used to doing right um and they do this to protect their heart really they do um but They truly want to do the right thing. Okay, so this is, and you know what? They might even do that, like want to come forward, want to take that opportunity. But then when they think about what they're going to say to you, they start lying and to themselves, like when they think about it and it's like, oh my goodness, you, why? Why can't I stop lying? That's how they're thinking. And the reason why is because they haven't went inside. They haven't even gotten to know the real them. That's why they've covered their soul with all kinds of lies and, and conformities of what everyone else wanted them to be instead of just getting to know the real them. And now they're struggling. Okay. But they will figure it out. We got the hermit here um, looking at this cracked heart. Okay. So there is healing taking place here. There is. Um, it's just a very slow healing, but it is taking place. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about the actions this masculine is going to take towards this feminine. Feminine, I think they're going to make you an offer. Okay, they want to make you an offer. Um, they want to do the right thing, but it's, it's going to be a while. They're very slow moving. Okay, Spirit, tell me. Okay, we got gossip. I've been talking to you, about you to my friends. Okay, so again, this is, I feel like they're trying to find someone to talk to, someone they can trust. They might have a friend that they can fight in, okay? Um, so I do think they're getting advice on what to do, how to move forward, how to heal. Um, they might even be seeing a therapist, okay? This could be the friend. I think the therapist is the friend. Is the person they're confiding in so they're seeing a therapist or a counselor about their anxiety um, about their emotions or they're thinking about seeing one okay and this is going to help them get back on the right path it's going to lead them straight into themselves all right um and you know this is about self-acceptance for this masculine needing to learn how to accept yourself Spirit, please reveal to me um, give me a message for this masculine's energy okay so we have passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you masculine so you should enjoy it instead of always pushing it away, not believing that you're magnetic, not believing that you're seductive. Okay, so this is passion wanting to envelop you, all right, with your twin flame. So believe that you are passionate, believe that you are seductive, okay, that you are magnetic masculine because you are. All right, so let's get into the karmic reading. Sorry about that. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the mutual energy between this masculine and the karmic partner. Okay, two came out. Very scattered. Oh my gosh, you guys aren't going to believe this. <laughs> Look. Can you guys even believe that this came out? Pay attention to the signs and their actions. So this masculine lies to the karmic too. They they do. Um, and then we have you are an inspiration. <laughs> so yeah, this masculine lies to the karmic too. All right. Um, you know, I think that they get carried away you know, uh, as well. Um, but the thing is here is the karmic is also lying to this masculine. So they both lie. Okay. Both of them lie to each other.
So let's take a look at some of the lies. So what lies are they telling each other? Oh, one just fell on the floor. Sorry, my office is so small. Okay, Spirit, tell me some lies that this masculine tells the karmic. And I'm actually going to get some of these two. Tell me some more of the lies the masculine says to this karmic. <laughs> Look revealing in reverse. Oh my goodness. Okay. So some of the lies, oh my goodness, that this masculine tells the karmic um, we got songs remind me of you. I am becoming a better person and I hid who I really am from you. All right. Um, so I feel like one of the things they lie about is like, oh, this song reminds me of our relationship and that type of thing. Like it really doesn't. Like I think that this karmic like picked out a song like, oh, this is our song. And this masculine's like, yeah, it totally reminds me of you. But really it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't feel that pull and that passion towards this karmic, although he says that he does. Um, he really holds back a lot with this karmic. Um, he really, really holds back a lot. Okay, I also feel like music, he even lies about the type of music that he really likes. Maybe he don't even know, but he lies about the type of music that he really likes to this karmic. Um I am becoming a better person and new perspective. Okay. So with these two cards, this is like telling the karmic that they make them a better person, but really they don't. Really, they're just making them a worse person. They're making them, you know, hide everything inside. Um, they also feel like this karmic's very closed-minded. They see, they've dealt with a lot of closed-minded people in their life and their family. And I think that they attracted this karmic because of that. So the karmic's very closed-minded. They also don't see this karmic as a good person. They don't think the karmic is a good person. And they don't feel comfortable with this karmic. They feel like they have to hide who they really are. And also the sex. They lie to this karmic about sex. They don't want to sleep with this karmic. They're not sexually attracted to this karmic. Um, and they hide that. Okay. Um, I also think that they they hide from this karmic what they sexually like, like what they like in bed and things like that. They lie about that. So this karmic has no idea who they are, what they actually like. Spirit, please reveal to me what are some of the lies this karmic tells this masculine. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I left you before you could leave me. Interesting. Let's get some clarifiers here. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me about, I know I was a distraction. All right, we got love offer. Is your heart open to receive my love offer? So this karmic, I feel like this relationship to this karmic is only a distraction to her. Okay. Um, I really feel that. Um, I feel like this karmic might have another relationship or someone else. I feel like she had just experienced like a breakup or something right before her and this masculine got together. And it really just started out as a distraction from this karmic's pain to this masculine. Spirit, tell me. And she's like, look, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> she lies about it. She knows that like that's really bad. That's pretty bad, you know. Spirit, tell me. Hot and cold. You deserve better than my hot and cold. So she's very hot and cold to this masculine. One minute she's hot, the next minute she's cold. Because this relationship was meant to only be a distraction, right? Um, so she is very hot and cold because she isn't truly in love with this masculine. 
and I left you before you could leave me. So she's not fully present in this relationship. I think that while she's in this relationship, she is thinking about someone else. Spirit, tell me about I left you before you could leave me. And soul contract. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill. So this is a karmic contract between the two of them. Okay. I do believe this karmic is meant to come in and meant to wake this person up in the sense that, um, first of all, this masculine is going through a dark night of the soul with this karmic. Um, but this karmic and, and with meeting you, I feel like a karmic was a catalyst and then they met their twin flame. And it's like now they're meant to awaken. Now they're meant to see um, for the universe to reveal to them that they do have a soul. They have their own soul, their own heart, their own destiny. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this masculine's thoughts towards the karmic partner. Spirit, please reveal to me this masculine's thoughts towards this karmic partner. Four of Swords. Okay, so yeah, he just tries not to think about it is what I'm seeing here. There isn't a lot of communication between them. They're, they don't talk a whole lot. And I think that that's the reason why this relationship is kind of easy for him. He doesn't have to speak. He doesn't have to be himself, right? Um, so that's what I'm feeling here. Spirit, tell me more about the thoughts this masculine has towards a karmic partner. Let's get the hidden truth for these. The thoughts this um, masculine has towards the karmic partner spirit. You and I were too young. It came out in reverse. So I think this is saying like they just kind of rushed into this relationship. Neither one of them were really thinking. Okay. And I think this masculine really wishes he had time to just disconnect from everyone and think. Right. So that's what he's thinking and that he rushed into this and that he shouldn't have. Um, spirit, please reveal to me the emotions this masculine has towards his karmic. Eight of wands. OK, so things are developing very quickly. This masculine's heart wants to just skip out of his chest and tell this karmic what is going on with him, right? That's what he wants. He wants communication. He wants to feel alive again. He wants to feel passion again, but he's not attracted to this karmic. He's not sexually attracted to them. He doesn't feel passionate about this karmic either, okay? Um, and he's hiding that. He's hiding that because he's afraid that he'll be alone, right? That this is what he deserves or what he can get kind of thing but it's like almost like he doesn't feel this karmic would ever reject him so he feels safe in this relationship the one he truly feels passionate towards is his twin flame okay and which he's not acting towards for swords okay but he wants to Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions that this masculine has towards this karmic. I'm starting to understand this connection. I'm starting to understand um, and have a new perspective on this relationship, right? That's how he's feeling. So what is he understanding about this connection? Spirit, what is this masculine understanding about this connection? That it doesn't matter if he's comfortable here. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. It's time to get the get to know the real you. So that someone else doesn't, you know, stifle the real you. It's time for your spirit to come out and shine like the sun, masculine. It's time to tell the world who you really are. And, you know, that's what your heart really wants. So this masculine starting to understand this relationship's not good for him. Um, and it's time to let go. Okay, it's time to let go of it. It is a relationship built on deceit. 
spirit, please reveal to me the actions, this masculine, and just not being present. You know what I mean? Like that kind of just, okay, screw it. I'm just going to go with the flow. That type of energy, just rushing in, not thinking. Both of them wanted to be, both of them wanted each other to be the distraction from each other's pain. So that's where we have some karmic mirroring. Spirit, please reveal to me the actions this masculine is going to take towards this karmic over the next six weeks. Okay, page of wands. So they're going to open up the conversation. They are going to initiate the conversation here. Get the conversation flowing. All right, so they're going to initiate it over the next six weeks. Um, so what are they going to talk about? Spirit, tell me what will they be talking about? Oh my gosh, look what came out, you guys. Um, time to let go. Okay, time to, um, this relationship has run its course. That's what this masculine is saying. Um, spirit, tell me more. What will be part of the conversation? Yeah. He's been forgetting himself in this relationship. He's been burying himself in this relationship in work to forget um, himself when really all he wants to do is forget his past relationships um, and forget this relationship with this karmic as sad as that sounds um, it's like he knows that this karmic doesn't really care for him he knows that it is dark and he's been going through a dark night of the soul um, because this karmic doesn't even know him this masculine is living with a stranger who cares not for him. So the only thing he wants to do is let go, follow his passion, follow his heart. And that's what spirit is telling him to do and is leading him to do. And over the next six weeks, he's going to open up that doorway. He's going to open up that doorway and see the road, see the opportunity. And he's going to touch it. He's going to take the first step out that door. And it starts with opening up the communication. Okay, so let's get the karmic's energy here. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the karmic partner's thoughts towards this masculine. Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands. It came out in reverse, all right? So this masculine might have a child with this feminine, or he might have a child with the karmic. Okay, if he has a child with the karmic, that could be one of the reasons why. Um, this, this divine feminine is like walking away, but I really kind of feel like he has a child with the feminine. I do. I, I don't know. I feel like there's a child involved here. I think it's with the feminine. I feel like this karmic's extremely jealous of that. This karmic's an extremely jealous person. Okay. Even though they don't want to be with this masculine, they still are very jealous. They know this masculine isn't attracted to them. Actually, they can tell, they can feel that, and they're angry about that. They feel jealous about that. Spirit, tell me more about this karmic's thoughts towards this masculine. Okay, so yeah, they speak to this masculine very negatively. They put them down because they can tell this masculine isn't sexually attracted to them. They can feel that, they can tell that. So they tear this masculine down. They're very hot and cold. Okay. Um, and it kind of reaffirms that energy this masculine is used to from his family. Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions this karmic has towards this masculine. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The king of wands. All right. So they could be married there could be a commitment here but they rushed into it um this whole marriage has been a distraction 
this karmic has been in love with an ex the whole time that she's been with this masculine the whole time she's been thinking about this ex the whole entire time okay um and she's angry that this masculine is not attracted to her anymore she can feel that so she's very hot and cold to him all right um spirit please reveal to me the emotions this karmic has towards this masculine this karmic's a fire sign 100 percent, probably a leo um they have absolutely no inner peace okay they have no inner peace i feel like this karmic was I feel like this karmic with her ex partner may have been like abused, okay? Um but it's like she never healed. She she's still in love with them. She still wants them and it's some kind of weird like mind game that this person has over the karmic. Um So it this whole thing has been a distraction. The whole relationship is just a distraction to this karmic and it went on for way too long. That's what I'm seeing here. It went on for way, way too long. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me about the actions this karmic will take towards this masculine over the next six weeks. Okay, four of cups in reversed. Um, there's not going to be any ignoring any longer. There's going to be a conversation and there's going to be, you know, this masculine's going to bring it up. This karmic is not going to ignore it. She's going to address it. And honestly, she's going to become very jealous is what I'm seeing here. She is going to flip out. Spirit, please reveal to me. Tell me more about the actions this karmic is going to take towards this masculine. Clearing out old energies. And I feel like she is going to be so upset, okay, that this masculine even brought this up. See, and that's, again, that's reinforcing you know what i mean you're not good enough you shouldn't talk i'm gonna get upset that type of energy like that this masculine had to deal with as a child and she's gonna be reinforcing it right she is gonna flip out she's gonna be totally jealous is what i'm getting here she's gonna accuse him of being with other people because the whole time they've been in a relationship she has been thinking of someone else and I believe this karmic is going to walk out the door because this karmic never cared for this masculine in the first place. So this masculine doesn't have to walk out the door. All he has to do is open it up and the karmic is going to walk out. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get some advice for whoever is watching. And then we'll go ahead and get into your messages from the masculine. Spirit, please give me some advice for whoever is watching about this situation. Okay. So you got the cardinal. Look how beautiful. Instinct, confidence, and timing is what the cardinal is about. So when you see a cardinal, um, this is a sign for you um, that this message is for you. Okay. And when you see a cardinal, remember this message. From spirit, okay? I don't try to hide because I have nothing to fear. Do you hear that, masculine? I sing at your window, cheer, 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 flashing my vivid red feathers for all to see. I am confident and I know who I am. The red crest upon my head is a psychic antenna pointing to heaven connecting me to the higher realms, giving me enhanced intuition and instincts. I flow with nature and flee at the precise moment of danger. I do not fret or worry until that moment. I eat when I am hungry and sleep when I am tired. Life is simple for me because I understand everything happens exactly when it is meant to happen. And until then, I do not waste my energy on fear and on worry. I trust that when it is time to make a move, my soul will know and I will take that leap. I have confidence that all is in divine order. If Cardinal has flown into your life, ask yourself, are you trying to force a situation to happen 
before it is meant to? Do you have confidence enough in yourself, masculine, to move forth with your dreams? Or are you procrastinating? Told you he was a procrastinator. Just go with the flow of life and match your pace to the pace of your heart and your inner knowing. The timing is key. So trust your instincts, trust your heart, feminine. And this message for you is saying, I know that it's hard to know what's real. I know that it's hard to sift through what's true and what's not. Okay, but you have that answer in your instinct. You are very instinctual. Um, you are um, psychic even, okay, with the cardinal coming out here. So in your instinct and in your heart, you absolutely know the truth. So have confidence in that and have confidence that everything is going to come together at the perfect time. Not a moment too soon, not a moment too late. And now let's close out the reading with um, messages to you, feminine, from your masculine heart to heart. Here, please reveal to me what would this masculine like to say to his feminine heart to heart? What's truly on his heart, spirit? What does he really want to say? Too many. So we have two. I didn't see what they were. And we're going to get a twin flame message. Spirit, what else does this masculine want to say to his feminine heart to heart? One more. Spirit, what else does this masculine want to say to his feminine heart to heart? Okay, so feminine, what does your masculine want to say to you? We have, how could you ask for more? So they see you as someone who is it, who is everything for them. Someone who they could never ask for more. They're just so afraid of your rejection. They feel there's got to be a better way to express themselves. Like I said, they're trying to figure out how to make you an offer. They're trying to figure out how to do it without... Purely expressing their heart. And masculine, there is no better way to do it than just to express how you're feeling. Okay. And seeing you reminds them of the things they know deep down. And that's not always easy to deal with. Okay. All those pains, all those hurt um, deep down in their heart. Seeing you reminds them of that. It triggers those wounds of rejection like we talked about in the beginning, it's not easy for, the, for them to deal with. It never has been. It's always kind of been their downfall, I have to say. And they're stripping down these beliefs. They're doing the best they can to strip down these belief systems, these hurts, these pains. And um, they're going to do their best is what I'm seeing here. They are trying feminine and they want you to know that. Okay. So that is the message that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.